Hello everyone and welcome to my hobby home. My name is Kathy. If you are new here, welcome. If not, thank you for coming back. Uh, today I am going to be in the kitchen a lot. I am preparing some foods for my daughter's baby shower tomorrow. We were supposed to have had it last Saturday, but Friday she tested positive for the vid so <laughs> and she's feeling much better she actually went back to work yesterday she's feeling much better so um we are on the mend for her no one else that we know of got it so we are just preparing for a baby shower now right here this is one of the things that she requested for her baby shower and it's just some of her girlfriends are getting together. They're throwing her a baby shower. I'm helping with food, kind of helping to organize that I have a few, um, I don't know, set up pieces that they're going to use. I'm going to make the cupcakes. I'm going to make, she requested tortilla roll-ups or pinwheels. Um, I will be making those. And she requested worm dirt. So you will see me making the tortilla roll-ups and maybe the worm dirt. But I will tell you, most of this stuff comes out of a box. It's easy peasy. So stay tuned and I will show you how to make these things. And like I said, most of them are out of box, not homemade. So just stay tuned. The first thing that we'll be doing today is the tortilla roll-ups. I am going to sit things out of the way so I can get started. Um, I'm going to read the instructions over here. I printed out several recipes, so I'll have them all here. And then start with my first thing. We have eight ounces of cream cheese. I'm doubling the recipe, so I'm using 16. We're only anticipating maybe about, I'm going to say 30 to 50 people, uh, because since it did change the dates did change some people aren't able to make it actually one of her hostesses already had a vacation planned for this weekend which is fine i mean she is with her family and i mean it's not like she hadn't been here helping with everything so and she feels so bad about not being able to be here so now i'm going to show you it's going to look like i'm throwing things on the floor but i have my garbage can right over here so i have my eight ounces of cream cheese and it says cream cheese and sour cream sour cream it calls for eight ounces of sour cream doubling it so 16 ounces Okay, so here's our 16 ounces. I, d I don't even use the um, low fat. I just use the full one. Okay, so I have my sour cream and my cream cheese in the bowl here. Probably should have put this in my mixer. Okay, and it says stir to combine. Now, I have not cut my onions up yet. I'm going to go on and cut my onions and put them in a little cup because it calls for half a cup of green onions. So, I'm doubling it, which is a cup. So when I when I dice my green onions up, I always peel out peel off the outer egg leaf. I can't talk today for some reason. It's already been a long morning. <laughs> I've gotten up, um, done my planning already this morning. I have to. I'm a planner. I have to plan. I have to know 
everything that I'm going to be doing for the day and I have to have it on a, a schedule kind of and that's just so I don't forget anything some things I do you know I chose not to do like when I went to town today I had certain things I had to buy and I decided not to buy certain things until later um, so I think I've already peeled the outside of most of these off because all the the green that I have left is still good greens because normally that outer layer of the onion is a little tougher you know these green onions it's just a, a little bit tougher I don't know if they dry out or something and of course I have to buy all of my onions I cannot grow onions I don't know what the problem is with that but I'm just going to cut these in small pieces and when I stir them in I'm hoping they'll break up real well and if I might have needed just the onion greens but I like all of it I like the greens the whites the whole thing and this is probably not going to be a full cup which will be okay because I know there are a lot of people that do not like onions and that that's fine you know so maybe this maybe it'll be such a small amount they can't even tell it's in there and I know I'm not a fast chopper but I'm saving my fingers and I know y'all I just noticed y'all can't see what I'm doing and I'm so sorry but I'm chopping the onions <laughs> And it's okay that I'm not a fast chopper. I'm not trying to be a chef. I'm, I'm just a little home cook. And as long as my husband's not complaining, I'm not caring. Yeah, and today I had I had to do a little grocery haul. Um, I try to get as much food as I can, as natural as I can. But my garden... Of course, I, I can't grow everything. I can't. I have such a small space, and I honestly don't know how to grow everything. But I did grow potatoes this year. I'm very happy about that. I've grown okra this year, potatoes, string beans. I can't get onions to grow for the life of me. I grew tomatoes, jalapenos. I tried to grow bell peppers. I think it was just too hot so they didn't they didn't do too well okay I don't need the rest of that that's the tip ends of those onions that I don't use okay so first thing we're doing and I do have um, I will link the recipe down in the description for the recipe that I'm using now I may oh this isn't softened enough I don't think it is soft but I don't think it's often enough okay now that we have the mix the inside mixed I'm going to just start uh, putting this over on a tortilla shell and what you do you do have to spread this real thin because you are going to roll this tortilla shell up and there's no uh, particular amount I just put however much I think and I try to leave enough space around the edge so I'm not overfilling and when I roll it so it doesn't flow out but you do want to put a and notice I, I just keep scooping in and then I come back out and I spray it a little bit and I do have plastic wrap here on the the tabletop or countertop that way when I'm done I can go on and roll it in the plastic I may actually need more tortilla shells and I meant to buy some but I thought no there's no way I'm gonna need more but I may need more just because I don't have enough 
for the mix. Because I think these are 10 inch shells and it only called for 8 inch. It called for 8 8 inch tortillas. Okay, so I have that filled. I'm happy with how that one's filled. So, being that this is the long way of my, which it doesn't matter, of my saran wrap or plastic wrap, whatever it is, cling wrap, I'm just going to start rolling this up and see how it starts pressing it out. And you don't want to press it really hard because if you do, you push all your insta inside stuff out. Now, these are going to be some pretty big roll-ups because I, I did kind of overfill it. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take that end and roll it over. You would think with this plastic wrap that it wouldn't come undone. It sticks to everything except for what it's supposed to stick to. Okay, so now we're going to get ready, ready for the next one. I'm going to do it long, long ways this time. So that way I know I'll have enough. So I'm going to see what I'm doing. I'm just putting my plastic wrap on the countertop here. And plastic wrap never does what it's supposed to do for me. Got our tortilla. I'm going to start with two big blops. And I see a little nap lying around. Okay, and I think I need to roll this one a little tighter than I did the other one. So I am going to roll from this end, which means I'm going to put a little extra on this end. Y'all can probably see how it's turning out there. Let me get that tight. Now, once I get all of these done, I will put them in the fridge. Right now, I have two done. I'll bring you right back when it's time to put in the fridge. Okay, I got eight rolls out of a doubled recipe using 10 inch tortillas. I will tell you, I now know why they say use the eight inch tortillas because the 10 inch, when I slice the tortillas, is going to make the rounds real big. If you use the 8 inch, they would be about like this. The 10 inch is going to be about like that. So I'm hoping they don't fall apart. <laughs> but I'm putting them in the fridge and I'll bring you back for the next one. Now our next project is Worm Dirt. This is for the baby shower. This was something specific that my daughter requested. Um, we have loved it our whole lives. I've loved it my whole life. I remember getting these at Christmas time as a dessert. But they're going to be a little different since this is a baby shower. I'm doing individual little cups. All you do, take a box of pudding mix. Add two cups of water. I use three boxes. So it was three boxes of pudding mix, six cups of water. I used 
24 Oreo cookies. I just put them in the food processor. Um, I remember making this when I was young, and we put them in a Ziploc bag and just get the rolling pin and roll them. But I got technology. I don't have to do that no more. But this is my mix. It is already setting up. It's getting thick. So I'm just going to show you what I'm doing. I take, I'm going to turn you down so you can see everything. Okay, here you can see I have my little dessert cups. I'm just going to start by putting, I just have one of these little spoons. I know you can't see yet. But I'm just putting one spoon in each little cup in the bottom. This is going to help create our dirt. Now I will kind of try to even it out because I know I'm just dumping it in there right now. And I'm telling y'all, I went on and made crush this up because I didn't know how this was going to work in the food processor. But it did fine. But I am telling you, man, this can make a mess. <laughs> Even in the food processor and without a child helping, it can make a mess. I'm, I mean, I'm dropping it everywhere right now. So, But this is real easy, real simple. I, can, I bet you can make graveyard, make these into graveyards for Halloween. You know, you spooky things in it. I'm probably going to have to do uh, more Oreos because I don't, I'm making more than what the recipe calls for, which is one box. So I kind of tripled it and I only doubled my cookies. So I probably will have to um, put the rest in the food processor so I'll have some to put on top but yeah we just I'm um, putting this all in the cups just in the bottom and if you're wondering where I got the cups I got these little cups off of Amazon they came in a 50 pack and that's all I was making was 50 so because I think if we have more people than that, and I know we have quite a few people that aren't going to eat the, the sweets. So, we should have plenty and plenty left over. I do know my daughter said she did want to take one home for her fiance because he's going to end up having to work. On the day of the baby shower so he's not going to get to make it which you know that's just how baby showers used to be but not now they include everybody so this is all I have left that may be enough but if not I'll throw more in the processor now our next step is to take my pudding mix and I'm going to put it in this bag okay so I take a plastic bag and I just start scooping see that pudding is already setting let me get it standing up I do have one of them things and I'm going to put this where you can see me do this I do have one of those little stand things but it's not out here and it's easy just to turn I'm making sure that in the bottom did get now once I get these cups filled I have to get them in the fridge oops we dropped Once I get these cups filled, I do have to get them 
in the fridge. Now this doesn't look like the smoothest pudding. I've never used doves. So I'm going to just go on and I do that. I'm going to cut a hole. In the corner over here. Oh, uh, this is one of those stand-up bags, so it may be a little difficult to do this. But what I do is I take my little scissors, I cut the corner out of the bag, and then I'm just going to kind of pipe it into the cup. Yeah, this isn't working. I didn't think about this being one of those sip flat cup bags. <laughs> going to look like. Okay, well, I didn't quite get 50. I got 30. I think 32. Which works out fine because that way I have enough cookie topping. And I can put extra in some that look kind of thin. And, of course, I'm getting this cookie topping everywhere, so it's okay. It's got, my kitchen's going to get cleaned up anyway after all of this because I have my husband will be coming in tomorrow and I want to get some good stuff cooked for him when he comes in because when he's come when he comes in if I do not have something cooked he wants to go eat and he claims it's because he doesn't want to make me cook, but nine times out of ten, I don't know what I want to eat. This is the problem until that day. So, see, I'm just waiting, you know, finishing these up, making sure I've got plenty. Okay, so this does make 32. Our next step is to add our worms. And how we do that, let me see if these have a little tear on them. We just take our gummy worms and just lay one right on top. You can push it down in it if you want to, but I, I don't care to because I want people to see that what it is so they don't get a shock and yes my hands are clean so we are going to just fill these up and I'll bring you back when I'm finished so now I have 32 worm darts packaged made and packaged they're going in the fridge now. And I think I'm going to end the video here. I do still have cupcakes to make, but I'm taking a break for the about an hour, and then I will get on making the cupcakes. Uh, I may bring you guys along for that. I just may show you the final product, but this has to go in the fridge. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't yet subscribed, please feel free to click on that subscription button and the notification bell. Anytime I upload new content, you'll receive a notification. And leave a comment. I do respond to each and every comment personally. And as always, until I see you again, have a very blessed day. Goodbye.